Hi, Pastor Nathan Duck with your hashtag Better Together Devotion for today. Click like, follow, and all those wonderful buttons below so that you can make sure and share the good news and be a part of this on a daily basis. Yesterday in um, our worship service at church, we had some young men. Um, we, we had a confirmation class, and it was all, guy, all boys. And, and these young men decided that they wanted to profess faith in Jesus Christ, that they wanted to follow Jesus. And that got me thinking about for this week, talking about specifically, so what does it mean when we talk about being a disciple and being a part of the church? We, we have several things that we say and do within prayers and within the life of the church. What does it mean to be a part of the church? Well, for me, the first thing that I always want to stress, and I stress this very hardcore to everybody that, that I, I bring to faith, is that you're being, when, when you come and you're a part of the church, you're going to be a disciple. You're not going to be a member. You're going to be a disciple. You're not going to be a member. Now, I know that goes against everything that probably every denomination has as far as the membership role and the ledgers and the books and all that kind of stuff of keeping track of people with active membership, affiliate membership, associate membership, professing membership, baptized membership, all those wonderful categories. But the reality is, is that Jesus didn't call us to go make members of the body of Christ. Unless we're talking about like hands and feet members of the body of Christ, then I, I, I can use that terminology for that. But Jesus called us in Matthew's gospel at the very tail end of it, when he gives us the Great Commission, he says, as you're going along, make disciples, baptizing them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, teaching them all the things that I have taught you. In other words, we're called to be disciples. Now, here's the thing I have as a problem with the term membership. Membership brings to mind country clubs. Membership brings to mind like places that I will go and join and be a part of because I get benefit for me out of it. That's when I hear the word membership most often used. Whether I'm the member of a Rotary Club or, or the, to network or a member of the Chamber of Commerce to go and be a part of connections groups and do that kind of stuff. There's benefit to me by being a part of that. Now here's the thing. For us as the church, we are a unique organization. We are a unique organism. We are the body of Christ. And we're not called to be a part of the body of Christ to benefit us. Rather, we're called to be a part of the body of Christ to benefit others. In fact, there was a bishop, I can't remember his name, who once said, you know, the church is one of the only organizations he ever knew of whose total membership was devoted to the benefit of non-members. When we join the church, when we become a part of the church, we're called to be disciples and to have a disciple mindset. That means following Jesus, following Christ's teachings, teaching others about Christ's teachings, sharing the good news, sharing the gospel, providing invitation, providing a positive impact in our community, embracing people of all kinds, shapes, forms, and loves and ways. Being the body of Christ means being a disciple who shares in this vision that God has given us for kingdom come. That's what it means to be a part of the church. We're not called to be members. We're called to be a disciple. And that makes us better together. Amen.